Seven highly feminine traits that men absolutely adore in feminine energy women. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Over here, we discuss femininity, womanhood, and I give overall life advice. So if any of that interests you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share this content. So what are the seven highly feminine traits that men absolutely adore in feminine energy women? Number one, they absolutely love when we embrace being women. No man, no masculine man likes to be around a woman who complains about being a woman. We understand as feminine women that being a woman is a right, it is a pleasure, it is a privilege. Yes, we go through changes, we go through different things in our body, but we embrace the softness. We embrace the fact that God has given us the opportunity to be that soft place. To be a woman is to be a presence. Um, the man is more so in the doing mode and the woman is more so in the being mode. So when a woman truly embraces her femininity, men absolutely adore that and they can recognize that in you. They can see the polarity between themselves and you. They understand that, oh, she is going to focus on certain things that I'm not focused on. Men who love women who are in their femininity, they don't have a problem with us spending time taking care of ourselves, be it mentally, physically, spiritually, Masculine men absolutely adore when we do things for ourselves because it makes them feel like they are doing something right as a man. When you are in a space with a man where you feel like you can lay back into your femininity, where you can focus on your beauty treatments, where you can focus on your mental wellness, where you can go to your therapy session, your spa sessions, you can just take a day at home and rest, take a week at home and rest. You don't feel like you have to constantly be doing something to back lead the man. They love that. To them, it signifies that they are doing something right as a man that their woman is able to just rest and just embrace being a woman. When you can tell your man, your husband, that, okay, my flow just started. I'm not going to work today. I need to rest. And he absolutely understands that because you are a woman and he treats you as such. He doesn't treat you as weak, but he treats you as delicate. And when you embrace being a woman and you understand that that is something that is different than what he has... He recognizes that and he absolutely loves that you decided that you care for yourself so much that you are going to take it easy. They actually encourage you to do that. So number one trait that men absolutely adore, when you embrace being a woman and you treat yourself as such, it equates to taking care of yourself. When men see you taking care of yourself, they are more apt to take care of you. When they see you treating yourself with a standard as gentle, as, you know, there's certain things that you like and you don't like, and you don't bend when it comes to your boundaries. There are certain things you will not eat and there are certain things that you will. You must go to the gym or you must go to your appointments. They understand that that's a priority for you. You take care of your feminine hygiene and your wellness. They recognize that and they love that when you do it. It makes them feel like more of a man that they have a woman who was able to just be and just rest. So that's the number one thing that men find absolutely irresistible when a woman embraces being a woman. Number two, when you are more reserved and more modest in your behavior and in your actions. When a woman is more reserved to a man that signifies that she is not going to be problematic every time they leave the house. You have a form of understanding time and place. You are not the type of woman that the man has to look over his shoulder to figure out what you're doing or who you're doing it with. When you are a more reserved, more modest individual, that is appealing to a masculine man because he knows that you are a woman of a certain standard, of a certain character. He doesn't have to worry about you starting issues with other people because you have class. You're more reserved in nature. You don't like drama. You like peace. He would see in you that if something happened and you were in a situation or some kind of drama, he would know that the other person had to start it because you are not like that. 
Men like when their women are more reserved. You ever hear the saying, um, you could take her home to mom or don't take her home to mom, one of those things. You're the type of woman that can be taken home to his mother because you are reserved. You know how to act. You understand boundaries. You have class. You have etiquette. You understand what to say and when to say and when not to say things. Men like that. Women who have common sense and class about themselves. Number two. Number three, you are tender and you're in particularly able to be tender with him. When a woman is able to show compassion and tenderness to her man, that is attractive to them. As feminine women, and specifically, I speak a lot about us focusing on ourselves on this channel, but that is not to say that you should not give attention and focus and compassion to the man in your life, to your husband. We have to understand as women that men do go through things, not the same as we do, but many times harder than we do because they're in a position that they can't really freely express their emotions the way we are allowed to because it's seen as a sign of weakness. And the last thing a man needs is to come home and have to deal with a combative woman who tells him something to the effect of just suck it up, be a man about it, you gotta man up. You're responding to him and being to him like another man. And he doesn't need that from you. He's dealt with that out in the world if he's a masculine man. He's working. He's strategizing. He's trying to figure out how to make things happen. He's trying to move on to the next thing. He's trying not to burden you with different things. And the last thing he need is for his wife, for his woman to be a hard place to land. As a feminine woman, being a soft place to land, being tender hearted for your husband, that is highly appealing to them because they know that they deal with hardness out in the world. When they come home, they won't have to deal with that from you. They can expect to have that soft place to land. Number five, actually number four, allow him to lead. Now, I understand this can be very hard for many women because a lot of women are in relationships with men who are not natural born leaders. And I think a lot of men, especially men who are like under 40 in this day and age, they are not all masculine, overly masculine men. Times are a little bit different and they might not be natural born, born leaders, but they are able to lead. And I'm not saying it's our responsibility to make them lead but when we lay back they have no choice so for us as women when we are able to release control and let a man lead that is appealing to him even when we let him lead according to the best of his ability you know when 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 I just got married you know I was a new wife my husband he's a new husband we've never done this before we were very young it's all a learning process. And I was too masculine at times trying to take charge, telling him how to do things, how to do this, how to do that. But then when I began to lean back, when God showed me, no, you need to submit to his leadership. You need to submit to the place and the role that I've given him as a husband. When I did that, when I began to do that, it freed me up to be more softer and gentler and it made him feel important and made him feel respected. So as feminine women, when we are able to let our men lead, that is appealing to them. So we have to learn how to lay back and submit to their leadership and let them lead. And no back leading because back leading a masculine man, a wise masculine man, they can tell when you are back leading them. And I will have another video on what the concept of back leading is. All right. Number five, be soft-spoken. So I'm talking to you right now. I'm teaching, but when in my day-to-day -day life, I'm very soft-spoken. I am not a woman that you will hear a mile away. When I talk, sometimes my husband says, what did you say, honey? You know, because I'm talking in a way that doesn't feel threatening, that doesn't bring out a defense mechanism in him. I don't like to talk to my husband in a way that is going to get the opposite response from what I need from him. So when you're in your feminine energy, you have to understand that you have to always have calmness in your tone when you're speaking in particular to a man. I'm not saying if something goes wrong, if you're upset, but even when you're upset, 
There is still a way that you can express yourself that is not net popping and being all loud and being in somebody's face. Men don't like that. And if you're trying to appeal to a masculine man, they don't want women that are so quick to quote pop off over any little thing. They normally want their women to be more soft spoken, more reserved, more laid back in her speech. They don't want a woman who says everything that pops into her mind. They don't want women who talk down and talk bad about other people constantly because that says something about your character as a woman. So men don't tend to like that. So that is the number five thing. Be soft-spoken. Number six, be spontaneous. Be unpredictable. Just the other day, my husband told me, you're so unpredictable. Men normally have more rigid attitudes and personalities. Again, masculine men, when they are in their masculinity, they are doing things out in the world. They're working. They're taking care of bills. They're taking care of a family. They're trying to do different things. They don't want to come home to a wife who is so stoic, so a stone face and so serious and everything is just wrong, 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 wrong and automatically giving him an attitude for no reason. We have to develop the trait of being lighthearted and playful, being spontaneous. Men vibe off of that more than what you even know. I used to think that, you know what? Okay, he's being cold. I'm going to be cold. I'm not saying when you have an argument, that's something different. But in general, sometimes I know for me, my husband, he tends to be much, a uh, very much introspective. So if there's something on his mind, he won't necessarily tell me all the time. And I know the way it used to be earlier on, earlier on, I would take that so personal where I would be like, you know what? He's acting like that. I'm going to act like this too. Not until years later, as I continue to grow, I understood that if he's in a blah mood, he doesn't need me to be in a blah mood. I have to learn how to still be upbeat and still be positive and be that light in the house, even if he seems to have something heavy on his mind or something's weighing him down. And you know what that does for him or what it has done for him 95% of the time? It broke him out of that funk that he was in because of my lightheartedness, because of how I was upbeat and still just being free and happy and not allowing anything to kind of bring me down. He started telling me what was going on with him because he saw that I wasn't matching his energy in that way. So men absolutely love when we are able to be lighthearted and tenderhearted, when we are able to understand that we don't need to match energy in that moment we need to be tender, compassionate, and understanding. All right? Number seven, we need to respect the man's space. That was going into what I was saying previously. Respect his space. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is still something that I'm working on because when my husband tells me there's nothing wrong and I know there's something wrong with him, I tend to sometimes feel like I need to know what's wrong. I just got to make sure because I'm so concerned because I'm that nurturer. And a lot of us as feminine women, we are nurturers. We want to make sure everybody's okay. And that's when sometimes you can cross the line into mothering your husband instead of just being a wife to him. And I am still dealing with that. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I have to force myself to not ask him what's wrong more than like two times. And it's like holding in a sneeze. It's so hard for me because I just so badly want him to be okay. But you know, as I'm learning to just back off and let him be, he normally starts talking. Or if he isn't talking or doesn't tell me about certain things, he'll tell me, I'm okay, honey. I just, you know, I don't want to burden you with what's going on with me. I'm fine. Just trust and believe I'm fine. Pray for me. And he'll leave it like that. And in those moments, it's like I won a victory. I won the victory over keep asking him, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Because when you do that, they get defensive. My husband has said, why do you keep asking me? I'm okay. I said, I'm okay. And then you start taking things personally like you did something when you weren't with them the whole day. And then that starts an argument that had nothing to do with you. But because of our innate nurturing spirit, and sometimes we get into that mothering phase with our husbands, we open up opportunity for an argument and you don't want to do that. So in point being that you have to respect your husband's space. 
Men love it when you are able to just respect their space and just let them be. I know it's hard because as feminine women, when you love your husband, you love your man and you want to be there for him. But sometimes the best thing you can do is just let them be and they love you for it. They adore that about you. When you heard what they said, you just respect it. They absolutely love it. And lastly, this might be a bonus. They look at how you treat other people. When you treat other people with kindness, with love, with respect, they absolutely adore that. Men are turned off by women who are constantly at odds with other people. They might like how you look. They might like you enough to sleep with you. But I guarantee you, a woman who is overbearing, drama-filled, always in somebody's business, always talking bad about somebody, doesn't know how to treat other people, he will not want to be bothered with you long term. So it is important as women that you understand that if you are trying to attract a highly masculine man, he will be turned off if you are a nasty woman, if you are a woman who has nasty character about yourself. If you just are mean to everybody, you treat everybody with disdain, you have an attitude all the time, they will not like that. So to reiterate, eight with the bonus, eight feminine traits that men absolutely love and adore. Embrace being a woman. They love it when you are more reserved, more modest in how you carry yourself. Be tenderhearted and compassionate with him. He likes for us to be a soft landing place for him. Allow him to lead. Don't feel like you have to lead the relationship. Not only does it make him feel good and he finds it attractive, it gives you the opportunity to rest. Number five, be soft-spoken. Being a soft-spoken woman, being that gentle uh, voice. Men like that because you give off a vibe of innocence, even if you're not so innocent. Number six, be spontaneous, be playful. Men like a woman who can lighten up and know how to just be playful and enjoy the moment. Number six or number seven, respect his space. If a man wants to be left alone and you know nothing happened between you two, you didn't do anything, you had no arguments, he's just dealing with something, let him be. And number eight, when you treat other people well, they absolutely love and adore that about a feminine energy woman. All right, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Now, I need you to do me a favor. If you watch this video to the very end, I mean, if you watched it to the end and took notes as you should have, put that heel emoji in the comment section. I absolutely appreciate you. Hit that like button. Take care.